in two tablespoons of canola oil. To that, I'm going to add our minced garlic, and I have one whole jalapeno cut up. Be sure to move, remove the seeds, because that's what makes it extra hot. So we wanted to take that out. So we're going to saute this for about five minutes, and then we're going to add in our meat. For our Tex-Mex barbecue, I'm getting our meat ready while I'm sauteing the onions and jalapeno. What I have here is um, two packages of beef stew meat. It's cut up into small cubes. So I've got two packs of that. That's not quite two pounds. Then I have a little less than a pound of a pork tenderloin. So I'm also going to cut this up into two inch pieces. So you just want to slice it and then maybe cut it in half. So we're just going to prepare this meat because as soon as the uh, onions is, are done, we're going to throw in our meat. Okay, our onions are about ready to go here. I just pushed them all to the side so I can get some surface to put in the meat. I'll put in the pork tenderloin. We're going to brown the meat for about 10 minutes. We want to be sure everybody's good and brown. We're going to put it all in here at one time. About 10 minutes later, I'm going to season it, and I'll show you the seasoning in just a second. Okay, our meat's good and brown. I'm getting ready to season the meat. Then we're going to add a couple ingredients and let it cook for an hour. So we got this all brown. It's made a lot of um, juice here already. So what I have here is I have uh, one tablespoon of uh, chili powder. Then I have one teaspoon each of cumin, ground cumin, and then one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Uh, the recipe called for just oregano, but since I had Italian seasoning, I'm just doing the whole thing. And then I have one big, big bay leaf here. So we're going to throw all this in, mix it around really good. Make sure everybody gets good and seasoned. Ooh, I can smell it. You can smell that chili powder. That's what's going to make the barbecue. All right. Then we have one cup of beef stock. I keep beef stock in the freezer. We got to go take an order for Cialo. Be right back. Now we're going to throw in our one can of Rotel tomatoes. Mix that really good. We're going to cover this. I'm going to put it on number three, and we're going to let this cook. Just stir it occasionally. We're going to cook this for one hour. Time's up. It's been one hour. We cooked it for one hour covered. Now, just going to stir it up and see what's going on in here. Now we're going to cook it for one hour uncovered on the same temperature. Just keep stirring it every now and then. Okay, our meat's ready. I'm just pulling it out and putting it on the platter. We're going to let this cool so that we can kind of mash up the meat. We want to make it look like pulled pork. Or pulled beef. Really, we got both here. Then just continue to let that uh, sauce cook down. That's going to be our good sauce. Then in a minute, I'm going to prepare some um, flour tortillas. You can also serve this on buns. But we'll show you. We're going to put it all together. And Mike's we're gonna put some salsa on here. So we put us some hot cheese. You can put all the fixings you want. This is our Tex Mex 
barbecue beef and pork. We're gonna eat it like a fajita. Mm. I'm ready to go eat, Mike. You ready to go eat? All right, let's go.